Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. Let me ask you, are you familiar with split shotting? Or at least, have you heard the term? If not, I'm here to tell you, it's a highly effective technique that you should know for catching bass, shallow or deep. Split shotting consists of a worm, grub, lizard, tube, or creature bait hooked to a small size lightweight hook and a split shot crimped to the line anywhere from 8 to 24 inches above the hook. What makes it so effective is the weight or the split shot and its position up the line from the lure. Now what this does, it gives the lure or the worm trailing behind a different, almost helpless look. Now the bass, what they do, they find it extremely appealing and it's a type of rig that you can cover lots of water with. And with that said, tell you what let's do. Let's go and get it wet, okay? It's important to remember that the ideal presentation is to maintain constant bottom contact with this rig while cranking at a slow, steady, stop and go pace. Surprisingly, this outfit more closely resembles slow crankbait fishing than it does plastic bait fishing. And speaking of plastic baits, let me show you what we're using today. It's nothing more than a split shot with a separation of about 14 inches all the way down to a hook and a six and a half inch Bass Pro Shop finique worm. That's all it is. And this system is called split shotting and that's what we're gonna be doing today. Contrary to what some may believe, the split shot bait does not float very far off of the bottom. At best, the bait moves within inches of the lake floor, while the tail action of the lure creates a swimming motion resembling something very much alive. The purpose is not to challenge a bass to strike, but to literally force feed a shy and unaggressive fish. That's a better one. I feel weight there. Oh yeah, good one. It felt a lot bigger than that. Nice little fish though. Look at that pole take it. Did you see how quick I hit that fish? And he swallowed it. See, he's got it all the way down. See that hook? It's all the way down. What I'm going to do is go right in there and catch the throat of it and just pop it out just like that. Of course, it's barbless. To have a barb on it, I'd never been able to do it. Just like a straight pin, popping it right out. And see, like I said, that hook is just as smooth on the inside as it is outside. Once you pass that point, the strength of the hook is in the throat right here. Once you get past that point and you get that fish hooked, if you're hooking him in the lip or something, once you get him hooked right here, right there, that's where the strength is in that hook, right there. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. And by Mercury Marine. Go boldly.
Today's conditions log is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Yes. Look at that thing. Crazy. Then around and around it goes. Slide up here. Let me get my little hands in your face. There we go. That's a nice one. Look at the coloration on him, how dark he is. Pretty fish. Yes, you are. See ya. Something else that's important when using lightweight line, it's best to use a soft shot versus a hard one. Hard shots require quite a bit of force for a snug fit. This can flatten or crimp your line seriously, reducing the breaking strength at that point. But if you have to use a hard one, kind of be careful in the way that you uh, mash it. Some fishermen simply do not understand how important split shotting can be. They may think it's too slow, it's difficult to feel, hard to cast, or that it only catches small fish. Naturally, these are all misconceptions. This method is highly productive for locating concentrations of stubborn bass, as well as intercepting stragglers, especially stragglers. It's equally effective for catching bass in used or heavily fished waters. Anglers that split shot are not fishing for the same bass everyone else is. It's also highly effective during weather or water changes when bass become very inactive. There, followed it out. Whoa, me! Jumped all the way on the back side of the boat. Look at fish can pull that hard and strip and drag too. Oh, that's a tough fish. I'm gonna tell you something, that one right there was one strong dude. There we go. Woo! That's a strong little old fish right there, boy. Yes, <laughs> you were. Get all that junk out of your face. You know, there's absolutely no question just how effective this complete rig is. But, like most things, it does have a few disadvantages. One is that your casting accuracy when using it might not be as good as you might prefer. That simply means it's not really the best rig for casting at specific targets. But this is no big deal because actually you're really not always going to be fishing specific targets with it. You're looking for cruising bass that might be anywhere. And that's what uh, this whole thing is all about. And that's what you're trying to do with it. You're just trying to, you know, attract those cruising bass that are just here and there. But today, in the last little while, I have found that a high percentage of these fish have selected these little points and outcroppings of spatter dock. I'm catching quite a few on those. So I am kind of m making specific casts to them. But I'm, I'm not having a whole lot of trouble because I'm fishing the outside edges. But if I was throwing back in 
you know, little nooks and crannies, and I would have a little bit of trouble with it. Today's show is sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels. Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination. And Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's show is sponsored in part by Stren, the standard of dependability since 1958. Lure Lock, turning the tackle world upside down. And Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Nice one too. Whoa. Ooh, strong. Get out of the pads. I like that worm. Fish this way. Yeah, you gonna see. Ow. That a big chunky baby. Okay, here's another problem you may encounter with this outfit. Is using too long a leader. That's the distance from the bait to the split shot. And too long a distance affects the lure's freedom of movement. You know, and it won't look quite as natural. This is something you need to experiment with until you find what works best at a given situation. I like I like it at about like I said, like it about 14 inches. I personally find that under most situations, a 10 to 18 inch leader works best. Lengthening the leader works at times, but it can also create problems. First, it's much more difficult to cast and control, and secondly, it'll be somewhat harder to detect strikes, especially when strikes are hard to feel. You'll need to concentrate even more watching your line. Often you'll see the line moving two to three feet to one side. And when this happens, well, I think you know what to do. Fish right there. Coming right at me. Right at the boat. And I mean tugging. Oh, buddy. Boy, you just got it too, didn't you? Boy, so much fun catching them on this type of equipment. And besides, it's important, and it's worth mentioning, is this type of equipment. You're going to do so much better and have so much better success using open face spinning instead of bait casting. By success, I mean casting control. You'll find that by using spinning, you'll have much better control of your cast, plus you'll be able to cast greater distances when needed. What we're using, we're using a Speed Freak reel, one of Quantum's 25 series. This is a Speed Freak, and what it does, it takes up 33 inches of line per revolution. Like I said, it's a 25 series smoke, and we've got it on a smoke rod. Uh, medium action, 
seven foot. It's also a smoke. This old outfit is well balanced, uh, lightweight, super sensitive, uh, f fast action. Got a tremendous amount of backbone, extremely sensitive tip, uh, like extremely lightweight. And I've got it spooled with 20 pound strand super braid and a section of uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon strand leader on the end of it. Okay, and the hook we're using is an offset round bend two alt gamakatsu. This is a fine little hook. It's a light wire, it's extremely sharp. The Build, Ask, Question, and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. What do you think about the ever-changing technology in fishing electronics? Well, I see it as a very exciting time for anglers. The fine folks at Garmin have continued to amaze me, be it traditional sonar, down view, side views, or pan optics. It's all really is combining to give us a much bigger and better picture of the underwater world. All that said, even the best electronics can't make a fish bite. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Closed captioning provided by Power Pole, the original shallow water anchor. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter, sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive pan optics all seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. There are many places you don't want to be hauling your boat when your bearings go out. For example, you don't want to be in rush hour traffic or on some back road in the middle of nowhere. And that's why I use Mystic JT6 bearing grease. The definition of reliable Mystic allows me to always get there and back. And if you pack your bearings with Mystic, the same reliability will be yours as well. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. They'll come right to that deeper water. Oh, that's a nice one. Get through my worm off too. Oh, look at that. Bullet there, boy. Ooh. Barbless hook just came right out. That pretty. Yes, you are. You going home? You ready to go back? Hmm? Say yes. Okay. Boom. I'll tell you something else that you'll want to do when you're using open face spinning. One thing I think it's real important, you need to select, you need to select reels that offer long stroke spools. They're much more efficient for longer, smoother casts than narrow spool models. With a narrow model, less line per crank is retrieved and more coils come off the spool during the cast. And what this does, it can severely affect your accuracy and your distance and also create those dreaded cobwebs and loops and tangles much quicker. Like I said earlier, the other important part of this rig is the hook. My choice 
for most plastic baits, like the one I'm using today especially, is an offset Gamakatsu 2 alt round bend. Naturally, with thick-bodied lures, you'll have to increase the size of your hook. This sharp hook has a small but strong diameter wire for quick penetrations, and it is extremely sharp. Is that a fish? Yeah. Whoa, look here. Starting to go crazy. Boy, you are one tough dude. Look at that crazy fish. That's why you need a good drag, especially up here close. Looks like I'm written. All right, pull me all the way back in this mess. Now come on up here. I'm gonna tell you what, a fish like you, ow, you bite me one more time. Boy, I got my worm. Look at that little potty job. <laughs> that, that fish gave me a good bite. I'm gonna tell you. Yes, you did. You got a special little job right there. Look at that little potty thing. Yes, you did, buddy. Whew, let me tell you, this rig and technique is far more versatile than you can ever imagine. And its ability to catch bass is absolutely remarkable. Its use isn't confined to certain waters either. It'll catch fish everywhere. So, when the impossible bite occurs, try it and see if you don't agree. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.